Anytime you got a team that the caliber is, you know, UNLV, you got to be up and up for the challenge. So I'm most excited about just being able to compete and compete at a high level against a really good team. What's it going to take to really make this push now that we get into the month of February as you get closer to the end of the season? What's yeah. it going to take for this team to come together and have it make a run in March? This is going to take finishing. I mean, every game that we played, uh, except a few, you know, New Mexico, uh, we've been right there where we need to be the last four minutes of the game. It's just going to take us just digging down deep in the last four minutes of the game and doing whatever it takes to get the win. I mean, I feel like we're getting better, but our record doesn't show that. But every day we're still competing, we're still playing hard, and, and we know things are going to turn around here. So that's just something we're just focusing on. KO found a stroke. Uh, against Air Force. I mean, we'll talk about his growth over the last couple of weeks uh, and while he was struggling and then got to a point where he was knocking down some shots. I mean, K.O. got to a slow start this season. You know, he had the, little, he had the elbow injury that he was dealing with. But uh, now that he's past that, you know, I think, you know, K.O. is a guy that we're going to need to make a run at the uh, March Madness. And uh, it's great to see him, you know, back to his old self, and uh, I think with him playing the way that he's playing, that's just going to help us even more. You see guys like Tyler Johnson really coming into their own this entire season. What has Tyler meant to this team um, throughout the year? I mean, Tyler's leadership has been incredible. You know, just we got a lot of young guys on the team, and Tyler basically shows them on an everyday basis what it takes to be a good player at this level through his hard work, and uh, that's just something that we're just going to need to do, not only to build this team, but to build his program. I asked Tyler this after the Colorado State game. You guys were one and six in conference, but that could easily be, you know, three and four, or even four and three. Um, in terms of if he was a player in the locker room, were you guys encouraged by how close you guys could be, or are you guys discouraged, obviously, at the one and six mark? You no, know, uh, you know, we're not encouraged by it. We're more discouraged because we know that we could have, we could have been easily been on the top of those, and it's just, just a matter of inches, you know, finishing. And, you know, we never, you know, we go into every game knowing we can win, and that's what we got to do tomorrow. What do you guys know about UNLV? Uh, UNLV, they got, they got good players down, down, down through the whole bench, and they can shoot. They like to push the ball. They got a great point guard with Anthony Marshall. And I played against him in high school, so it will be a good challenge going up against him tomorrow. And Anthony, um, Anthony Bennett's a good player too, so, you know, we just got to put our will against their will. You're looking a lot like 2012, Kevin Oluke Bay, putting up some threes. Um, but the play, just like you and every other player, have been kind of, you know, come and go in terms of the way Coach is, is running the rotation right now. Um, is it a little frustrating that the, the minutes aren't as constant or the role in your team isn't as, as sort of consistent as you maybe like? Uh, no, I'm not really frustrated by it. You know, I just got to play my hardest when uh, my time is called and whenever he puts me in. And I know from here on now, I'm going to just give my hardest on offense and defense and try and be like the player I was last year and try and help my team as much as possible. And I know what my role is, and I know everybody knows what the role is. We just got to feel it more. With the Air Force, you kind of broke out of some things. You feel like now you're kind of getting some momentum positively your way now? Yeah, I would say so. You know, I mean, it's been a couple of minor issues with my elbow just a little bit. and. Um, Coach Terry's working with me on that, and uh, he still has faith in me, you know, so I just got to continue to play hard. Let's be serious here. It's UNLV. You're from Vegas. You got you, you to be up for this one, man. Yeah, I'm a, I mean, you know, if you have a lot of great players, I mean, I played against Anthony Marshall in high school my whole, uh, all my years before he left, and it's, they got Anthony Bennett, you know, they, they got a good roster, and we just got to match our will against their will and just compete, you know, just play hard. Is it hard not to think about the me versus my hometown type thing? You want to do well, that kind of thing. I know you're trying to avoid this, but you know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not on my mind. You know, I'm a team player first, but in the flow of the game, you know, if I get going, you know, my teammates going to look for me, and you know, I'm just going to take my time. And Coach Terrell always tells me, let the game come to me. Don't try and force it. You know, get lost on defense and on offense. And finally, you know, you guys have been in most of the games. Is it frustrating because you guys are almost there, or is it, you know, kind of like positive thing because you can win these games in the conference? You look at uh, it optimistically. You know, it's kind of both. I mean, because the positive way you look at it, we're still there. I mean, we came up short, but it's frustrating because it keeps happening over and over again. You know, we, we just got to stop that repetitive motion and just, you know, break through and finish. You guys 
still stay positive even though you guys are in last right now? We've been upbeat. I tell you what, our guys have had great pop. I mean, they've come in and they bounce right off that mat. And, uh, you know, we haven't had – in, in this league, you can't hang your head uh, after a loss or after a win. You only have it for one night. You've got to move on with your preparation uh, in terms of getting ready for the next opponent. What's your scouting report on Vegas? Vegas probably, you know, I think uh, you know, one of the most talented teams in our league talent-wise. Uh, they're a team that puts constant pressure on the basket. Transition offense is, is something they really try to do. So we have to get back and get our defense set and uh, try to slow those guys in transition. They're a really good offensive, t offensive rebounding team. We have to do a great job of blocking out. And, uh, you know, that's what they do really well. You know, Dave's done a great job with this group. Coach, a lot of people are excited about Raiden being inserted into, uh, into the lineup and being able to play. What do you expect out of him tomorrow night? We tried to keep it simple for him. We really have. We said to Brayden, hey, come in and do what you practice. You know, we've given you a couple moves in the post. We want you, want you to try to come out and do something you hadn't worked on. But just come in and play with a motor. Give us some physicality uh, on both ends of the floor and, and just play hard. His, his uh, entrance, really, to the, to the team and, and comes at a pretty good time when you're playing Anthony Bennett, a good guy, 6'8", that can uh, really score the basketball. He's very familiar with those guys. He's a Canadian. They're fellow Canadians. Uh, you know, he and Kim Birch both, they, they're real familiar with each other. Um, you know, but Brain's a, Brain's a young player. He's a freshman. He, uh, he's a guy who uh, would develop right in front of our eyes, and uh, he's a little raw on the offensive end, but he'll continue to improve his skill set as he's here with us. Coach, they're second in the conference in scoring, I think 75 points per game. Do you hope to go up and down with them, or do you want to slow it down? What's the game plan going to be? Well, I think a big part of that is going to be us getting back in our defense set. We've got to try to limit those guys' offensive opportunities in transition. We've got to get back and make them have to score against, you know, whether we're in man, whether we're in zone, and, uh, and do a great job of defending and rebounding. K.O. seemed to get back into a little bit of a groove against Air Force, and now he's playing his hometown team. You feel like uh, you're going to need his offense here to kind of, you know, get if you get into like a scoring matchup with them, you're going to need him. Well, I think it's always great for a shooter, uh, which we consider KO to be a shooter, uh, to to see that ball go through the net and uh, to have a level of success with where that's happening. Um, you know, I, his approach to this ball game should be just like it should be for all the games. Come in and get lost in the defensive end and let the offense come easy to. Well, I think I think as, as as a coaching staff, and I think even our guys, we know. And again, our approach to all year long has been, you know, um, you know, you only have it for one night. We got to move on. We win or lose, we got to come back and be the same guys. Yeah, this, you know, in college basketball, you, you you can't be too high, you can't be too low. You have to keep an even keel all year long. And what are some things that I mean, who lifts up the spirits of the coaches when you when you're on the road sort of struggling? And well, what are some of those things? Well, I think, uh, you know, I just think we, just being positive. I mean, just understanding that, uh, you know, we're playing in one of the best leagues in the country. We're playing in great venues. We're playing great, against great, great coaching staffs. Uh, and, and, again, that keeps you going. I think that keeps you excited about what you're doing and where you are. What are you most excited about going forward in the second half of Mountain West? Well, we get a chance to play everybody else again. And, we're, you know, obviously at this point, point in time of the year, everybody knows each other really well. Everyone does a great job of scouting. Uh, now it gets down to execution and uh, and guys doing what they what they practice on a regular basis. And how do you think the team's been performing in terms of ball movement, shot selection? You know, Kale really seemed to get back in the mix against Air Force. We've gotten better. We we uh, our team has definitely improved uh, over the course of the year. Now we don't have a lot of uh, results to show that in the win column, but uh, we have improved overall as a team. Uh, whether you know from an offensive standpoint and defensive standpoint. Uh, you know, the next step again for us is to finish games with, with the right kind of outcome. And, and is this going to be kind of like a measuring stick game for, for Tanner and Robert to, you know, go up against competition that, you know, has, you know, same amount of experience in college basketball? Well, I think to this point right now, we played a pretty good schedule. I mean, I think one of probably maybe top ten best schedules, toughest schedules in the country. So, you know, in terms of competition, I mean, we've seen competition night in and night out and, you know, the, the, the talent level. Uh, every night out in the Mountain West Conference is some of the best you'll see see in the country. And, you know, we don't again ask our guys to go out and do anything that they don't practice. Just come in and do what we practice, play hard, work hard. And how do you think uh, Kale's really adapted to, you know, his adjusted role playing off the bench this season? Kale's been very positive about, uh, uh, about the role that we've asked him to come in and play for us this year. Um, you know, he's done really well in practice and, uh, you know, he hasn't shot it particularly as well as he probably wanted to over the course of the season. But, uh, you know, right now he's, you know, uh, coming off a really good game where he made shots and we look forward to him uh, doing that again here in the future for us.
you know, with Robert being a local kid and, and playing here at Fresno State, I mean, where at this point in the season, again, do you gauge his development in terms of his consistency? Robert's a young player, and, uh, you know, very few freshmen get a chance to come in and play at this, at this level here and have immediate success. I mean, that's, you're talking maybe 10 guys in the country that get a chance to do that, and, uh, you know, he's a player that's going to continue to develop right in front of us. He's a guy that's going to continue to get stronger. Uh, both on the offensive end and defensive end, but but uh, you know freshmen have a long way to go, you know, in terms of learning this game and how hard you have to compete at this level. Well, what I've said to our guys is we've got to play for 40 minutes, and uh, you know that starts uh, from the outset of the game to the to the time that horn goes off. And you know I said just to our team today that it's very important this time of year you you have to finish, you have to compete, and uh, more than anything you have to continue to improve.